Um, it seemed that you were really comfortable on a couple of those big plays. Has that been something that's that's been a point of focus? Um, no, not really. You know, honest, honestly, I really haven't thrown much on the move here in camp, like scrambling and stuff like that. Um, I know Coach is real big on unscripted plays um, in the red zone, unscripted plays just anywhere on the field, just you know, trying to work scramble drills. So um, we try and do that as much as we can in practice. You don't want to get in too much of a habit. But um, the game, the game on uh, Friday was really the first time I was actually able to really do it. Uh, one thing that seems to be big for coaches, and I asked him about it, he said he got mad at you guys didn't break the huddle properly. Yeah, today. On that one today, yeah. We, we, we heard all the yelling. Uh, what, what, what exactly do you feel that, that went wrong there? No, you just want to have a clean break. Every, every time you break the huddle, you want everyone clapping their hands and, you know, in sync together. Um, anytime you don't have that, it just, it's lousy. It's not good football. So we all want to be in sync, um, be in unity, you know, be, uh, be doing stuff together. So that's really what he got on us about today. Gruden said that he threw a lot at you today at practice. How do you think you handled when he threw it to you? Um, I thought I handled it okay. You know, there's obviously some blitz pickups that we could have, you know, been better at. I could have been better at making the, you know, changing the point, making sure guys are, uh, you know, picked up and stuff like that. And then obviously some throws that I missed. But, um, you know, that's why it's practice. You work on it. You're trying to perfect your craft and come out tomorrow and be better tomorrow. Are you the better, you think, for having gone through two different coordinators in two years and now having your third guy? Or are you trying to make up for lost time a little bit and try and just settle into this one? No, I think, um, you know, anytime you're around, a, you know, one coordinator and a different coordinator, you always pick up, you know, new things. So um, you learn stuff from each and every coordinator, and I think that's definitely helped. You know, learning stuff from, from Coach Musgrave, um, learning stuff from Coach Downing, and then now Coach Gruden, um, Coach Olson, and Coach Callahan, you know, the whole QB room. Um, you know, there's, there's things that you pick up along the way from different coordinators, and, and you use it stuff. You use stuff that you've learned in the past. So it's definitely, it's definitely helps. Did you, were you at a comfort level the other night that was more so than anything you've, you've had here before, you think? Um, I don't know. I, I just felt comfortable, you know, with, you know, working with the guys in practice. You know, you work with the guys so much in practice and you build that chemistry in practice, and then you go out there in the game and, um, you know, the game just felt like practice. You know, you, you rep this up so much, so often, each and every day. Um, you know, you try to make the practices hard so the games are easy. Yeah, so you're so big at throwing things at you and changing things and kind of throwing different challenges at you. you know, the, the talk was some of the players were saying, you know, games are going to be easy compared to this. Is that, was that kind of the case? Um, I think just in, in the game against uh, the Lions on Friday, they were just you know running a lot of basic stuff. They really weren't okay. bringing a whole lot of pressures. Um, in practice, you know, we had a lot thrown at us with you know Coach Gunther. Um, you know, they're in their odd package. They're doing all these other crazy blitzes, and um, you don't know where they're coming from. And then you got there in the game, and you know, Detroit, for the most part, was just lining up in you know four down front, mm -hmm. you know, occasional jam, but um, not really bringing any pressure. So that okay. that's probably what what made it look you know like it was um, not easy, but just we looked like we were comfortable. Is, is that the case in general in the preseason team? Defenses just don't want to show too much of their their exotic blitzes, and that waits till the regular season. I think it's you know somewhat like that. You know, people just want to you know run their base defense and you know obviously wait wait for the season to show some exact stuff. I would say that's that's about right. How integral is it for you just to show consistency from a practice to game, game to practice, day by day situation? And kind of how did today go for you? It seemed like uh, there might have been some things that John was throwing at you that. I don't know how you felt you reacted to it, but overall, how'd it go? Yeah, you know, I think practice, um, you want to perfect practice, and you want to be consistent, like you said. Um, consistency in, in everything, not just a game, not just practice, but in everything. So that's my main goal is, you know, to come out here and, and win each practice, be the best be the best version of myself that I can be in practice, be the best version of myself that I can be, you know, in the game, and just, you know, keep the foot on the gas. Just always be consistent. And um, just be the, like I said, you know, the best version of myself every single day. Or you're that, or you in that, just in terms of the day to day, being the same guy every day. Is that something you're still focused on, working on? Absolutely. Just, I mean, never let up, never feel comfortable. You know, always, you know, just put your nose to the grind and um, just work your tail off. You know, be, be a leader and work your tail off. Yeah, John referenced that he threw a little extra at your plate today. What, what was he referring to there? Uh, probably just the, the blitz periods, you know, with Coach Gunther bringing all those crazy exotic blitzes. I think that's probably what he was talking about. Um, John Feliciano, you've worked with him a bunch on the second team. What do, you, what do you see from him? I know he's behind three stellar interior offensive linemen, so he's not a starter here. He seems like somebody who might otherwise be a starter in this league elsewhere. What stood up to you from him? He's just a great dude. Um, he's tough. He's going to work his tail off. He gives so much effort and passion whenever, whenever he's out there. Um, a dude who loves the game, who loves football. 
um, you know, comes out each and every day with a smile on his face and, and just loves to be out here. Um, and he's a competitor. You know, he's going to do whatever he can, put his, you know, put his body out there, you know, to throw a block. You know, he's smart as well. He's going to make the right calls. He's going to get, you know, the whole offensive line, you know, in sync, in tune to where the point is. And um, like I say, he's a competitor, and I, and I love playing with him. A couple more guys. You made two uh, throws in the game, one to Butler and then the touchdown strike to Switzer, where you were kind of buying some time and moving around kind of in the pocket. Do you feel comfortable in those types of um, situations maybe where, where the play kind of breaks down a little bit. What's the key there? Yeah, I think anytime you can, um, you know, scramble or you know, vacate the pocket, get outside the pocket, um, keep your eyes downfield. You know, I, I feel comfortable doing that. Just as long as you make a, a good decision, you don't put the ball in harm's way, um, and you just try and you know see the field and see where your guys are, um, and try not to roll left and throw right. Um, but if you are going to do that, make sure that there's no defenders, you know, back there, and know, know that the area is safe. And um, really, the, the main thing is, you know, whenever I'm on the move or I'm on, you know, I'm scrambling, I'm just making sure that the throw that I make is going to be a safe throw. That I'm not putting the ball in harm's way or trying to force anything. Last year, you were in a competition during training camp. It seemed to be one in name only, just based on the way the reps were going. Do you feel like this is more of an earnest competition? And if so, how do you feel like you respond to it overall? Um, you know, I think everyone's been, been playing really good football. You know, Derek, me, and EJ, and um, I think we're all competing no matter what who the number one is, number two is, number three is. You know, everyone's competitive. I mean, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna comp compete against each other in each and every drill, each and every period, and we're just gonna come out here and have fun. Last one, guys. What? Um, I won't let you away for nothing. Uh, what do? Just working with John on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, you've met him in the past, but what has that day-to-day -day dialogue been? Um, he's just a great communicator in all aspects, um, in the meeting room, on the field, um, you know, just walking around, hanging around, you know, the weight room, wherever it is, you know, we're always talking ball and um, he's just a great teacher of the game, make, making sure that not just the quarterbacks, but everyone on the whole offense, everyone on the whole team, you know, all three phases, whatever it is, um, offense, defense, or special teams, that we're all, you know, in sync together. We're all on the same page, and um, you know everyone does a great job of, of learning you know, what he's teaching um, and just going out here and executing it.